So from this area, you know, I, I might as well go ahead and show you what I was talking about. Um, I'm going to drag, drag that back up here, uh, just but keeping it flat, kind of. Uh, or not flat, but more or less uh, together there. Now, see that we need to taper this off, start forming, you know, what is what is going to be the buttocks. Um, we can take a, we can take a couple of techniques here. Um, since we're, you know when the leg bends forward, you need divisions uh, in the gluteus muscles to to support you know a lot of things. So you know, I want to add a row here. If you can see that right around that thigh area, just kind of get an even um, sorry an even division there. With those selected, I know that. This area, this problem, this edge loop up here is probably the one where I want to uh, start forming, you know, the, the rough gluteal region. So I'm gonna scale that down a little bit on this end. So I know we've got enough enough rows here now. Um, really cartoony, really exaggerated. But something we want to, you know, right, we're down right to where the knee would be. So we really want to be careful at cre creating the the types of rows and the topology that we're going to need for for a knee. Um, and since this, this character is kind of built at an angle, uh, I'm going to go ahead and just select those polys, extend them down, connect the uh, exterior parts here. We'll start forming the kneecap a little later, but we have. You can see we got a good row here that'll go all the way around, um, and we'll form the interior part of that quadricep and the uh, other part of the hamstring in a minute. Uh, but you can start seeing that the amount of detail and it, it, that you can get out of these muscles. But you can take this row and you can make this transition uh, as sharp or as or as or as loose as you want. And as a matter of fact, you can even use morph targets around some of those transitions. You can see that I've made that extremely sharp just by closing up the gap between those, you know, between those uh, vertices. It's really easy to get, you know, get a lot of, you know, top level control out of all of that. And, you know, even from this area, I want to make sure that the shape is maybe a little more bulbous or continuous here. And I wanted I, you see you can see I kind of stayed away um, when creating these uh, muscles. You know, in the previous model you can see that furrow and the division and the quadriceps that go all the way up there. And you know, I could I could potentially keep doing that, uh, but I do want to stay away from doing anything for now that changes the topology of of the the transition area there. Um, see, it doesn't really hurt the overall look uh, that much. But uh, yeah, really want really careful about preserving that uh, that particular area. Um, so let's go ahead and you know finish off some of the uh, some of the quadricep leg muscles. I, I addressed that kind of early on, but that's really that's one of the techniques we'll be using to create different muscles. Uh, there there are there are others, and they're just as effective. But you know, I wanted to, I wanted to show you that because it's uh, really particular about quadricep muscles. You know. Uh, you know, everybody's got their pet peeves. You know, I've got. All, I've already mentioned that I'm particular about this. I'm particular about that. Uh, everybody, you know, you get to you get to have a lot of pet peeves about you know your own models. You know, you want to make sure certain things get through. Um, you know, there are, there are stylistic considerations about you know any anything in this this kind of modeling. So, uh, really, if if this is your own project, good for you. Uh, you know, you can be your own director and stuff like that. Um, so you you'll be able to make those determinations for yourself.